Tim, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, great to meet you and let's get you introduced to everybody else. It's Tim Andrews, Chairman of Hollywood Monster. Over to you, Tim, introduce us to your business, please. Hey, good morning. Uh, yeah, my name's uh, Tim Andrews. Um, my business or my main business that I'm involved in is a company called Hollywood Monster. Um, I started the business with my father from a from my mum and dad's um, loft space, uh, three bed semi in Birmingham, uh, in a suburb called Hollywood uh, in 1991. Uh, my father um, was made redundant, started the business with, I think, £17,000, if I remember right, um, and four wheels. Um, and we had a had a dream to work together and to build a business um, together in the signage industry space. We worked together right up until my, my father passed, which was around six years ago now. Um, business now currently turns over at circa 10 million pounds per year, employees around about 55 people. Um, we nationwide, we, we lead the space in sort of super wide format printing. We work in sectors, sort of um, our main three sectors, retail, property and event space. And events could be anything from a sporting event to through to exhibitions uh, right up and down the country and into Europe, actually. Uh, we've done quite a lot of work um, this year in, 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 in Europe, which, uh, which is very pleasing to see. Um, so, yes, yeah, so very much a, uh, I wouldn't say global business, but, uh, but certainly uh, further and further afield than where we used to and where we started off in on our loft space in, uh, in Birmingham. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Um, what would you say makes you stand out from your competition? You've alluded to some of it there, Tim, but uh, expand a little bit for me, if you don't mind. Well, I think uh, our USP is, I think it's it's all about, I mean, we, we have a hashtag monster impact. It's about making our clients stand out. It's not about us standing out, but it's making our clients stand out from the rest. Um, we're very creative. We push the boundaries on sustainability. We, we've brought in many non-PVC products to the UK. We're first to use um, so we, we do believe that, you know, we're pushing the boundaries of the signage industry um, and we're, we're quite fresh, we're quite fun uh, from the outside. I think our brand's very strong. Uh, certainly the name is quite memorable, um, but, our, but our customer service as well, it's our people in business. We, we a lot of our people that, uh, that we employ have been with us um, 10, 15, 20 years. Um, and, and that comes through in the customer service as well. You know, so we know what we're doing. We know what we're talking about. And, and our customers, we always leave our customers with that good feeling that they're in, in safe hands. And, and I think the industry as a whole, you know, you hear some horror stories where people have been let down. You know, what we say we do, we do. Um, and if we don't, we put it right. Right. Where's the business going in the next five, five years or so? I think the next, I mean, the next sort of um, the, the next, should we say, goal is to take the business to sort of 12 to 15 million pound turnover. Uh, our prop app, the premises that we operate in will allow us to do that. Um, and I think I think that is the sort of a sweet spot, really, where, you know, we maximize our efficiencies, maximize our capacity uh, of the machine space, but also floor space. Uh, and I think that is like the sweet spot for the business where we get maximum returns. Uh, so in terms of, you know, we're still wanting to grow um, a few more efficiencies as well within the business. We're constantly always learning, constantly always improving the business through investment and also day to day learning. Um, and, and I think that is the, certainly the, the five, the five year, uh, the five year plan. Right. So in the uh, long and windy road from the loft to where you are, what would you say your um, biggest learnings been since you've been a business owner? Um, well, I think I'm constantly still learning now at the age of ripe age of 55. I'm still learning, uh, nearly every day. Uh, I think, I think the biggest learning is, is making sure you've got the best team around you, mm -hmm. uh, the right people that, that will do the work. And it doesn't necessarily mean you don't need the best people, but you need the right cultural fit people in the business. Yeah. Yeah. People who want to go on that journey with you. Um, you know, it's, I've had experiences where people don't want to go on that journey and it makes things quite difficult. Uh, it doesn't make them bad people, but it just makes them right culturally fit. So I th I'd, I'd probably say the, the biggest learning is making sure you've got the right team of people 
Um, I mean, hey, every every business has its problems, but they largely all come down to people, don't they? So, and, and I think I think that is my biggest learning, and I'm still learning now. You know, um, to be a better leader, um, and I, I did probably underestimate the importance of being a good leader as well. Yeah, interesting. What about the biggest challenge that you've had to overcome? What do you say since you've been running the business? Again, it's the same. It's it's people. Um, <laughs> it's making that you know keeping everybody happy. You know, and I'm talking everybody through shareholders, investors, banks, the people on the floor doing the work, um, and customers. You know, you've got so many different levels um stakeholders and keeping all of them happy is really difficult um especially in an environment that is very competitive technology driven um technology and people don't necessarily go together in the best of times especially when the pressure's on and, and out of that trying to make some money in an environment that is quite is quite tough to do so um and of course we all know about the cost of living crisis at the moment and the cost of you know utilities into the business you know that gap that has been squeezed more and more uh, as as more than we've ever known it and then of course high taxation at the moment as we see in both business and personal it's really tough um, yeah. and to keep everybody with a smile on the face is really hard and i think that is probably the biggest challenge um, and of course, profitability has to be sustainable. It can't just have one good year and then three bad. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, it's been, uh, I mean, I'd say that is probably the largest challenge. Yeah. 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 I would agree with that. And still, it still is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, with the benefit of all the knowledge you've gained over the years, if you were sitting, um, having a conversation with your 18 year old self, what would you say? Um, Empathy is probably high on that list, I would say. Um, listen to people's troubles. Don't try and solve them, but take them on board. Um, again, be a better leader, I think, is make sure that you lead from the front. Your actions need to emulate the values that you want to drive within the business. So we're probably all guilty of thinking of some buzzy words to put as your values of the business, how you'd like to see it, but then completely act in a different way. Um, and I think, you know, and of course, over the years, everybody changes. You know, I started the business when I was 21 years of age, and now 55. Um, yeah, it's a long time, and I've changed as well over that time. You know, my values have changed during that space and, you know, driven by families driven by uh, you know people that you really care about um, and everyone has a different you know at the age of 55 you have a different outlook on life don't you than when you're 21 yeah cool yeah. great and if you were to wrap up all your knowledge and pick one piece of advice that you'd give to the other business owners who may be watching this what would it be just one, which is also hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the, the number one, I, I think what I'm really big on is having a dashboard of your business that that, that measures lots of different things right across the yeah. business, whether, you know, so you're driving your car to London, you know, you've got different dials on the yeah. across the dashboard. Make sure you've got a dashboard. Make sure there's some measurements in there that are firstly measurable. Yeah. Not too many. Um, but making sure that you've got all the sort of the aspects of the business measured. And so it gives you a really good temperature gauge as to where the business is at. Yeah. This is where you want to get to. Uh, and I think if you measure it, you can manage it. Um, yep. So I think that that is probably the biggest. But it's coming up with, and the KPIs can range depending on the business itself. They can differ and they can change over time as well. And they yep. quite often do. But having a dashboard in place, I think, that measures the business so you can manage it. If you're right. not measuring it, you can't manage it. Yeah, agreed. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, your website details are sitting below this video. Yeah. In terms of people wanting to find out more, what, what are the best next steps, Tim? 
yeah, I mean, obviously go online and, and, and have a look at our business. Um, I would say our, our business is probably the weakest it's been online. Um, we're having a new website built at the moment uh, in fairness, because it doesn't really truly reflect us as a business at the moment. Mm. Um, but yeah, certainly go on website, contact details are on, are on the website uh, or mm-hmm. find that uh, LinkedIn. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite active on there. I don't read my messages every day, but I'm certainly on there quite regularly. So get in touch with me uh, on LinkedIn and, uh, and I can take you through that journey. Yep. Great stuff. Thank you. All right. Tim, thanks for sharing your insights and wisdom with us. Um, yeah, congratulations on building a great business from the loft. <laughs> That's where it is now. Yeah. Yeah. But the best of luck with the journey to 12 to 15 million. So it's uh, optimum. And um, thanks again for joining me today. Uh, thanks for asking me on. Thank you.